Hi everyone, welcome back to my channel. For those of you that are new here, hello. My name is Isla, nice to meet you. And for my returning viewers, hi, welcome back. Thanks for tuning in. So I'm kind of on time today or this week. Um, I will be cash stuffing my first paycheck of January. Um, I'm back to cash stuffing half of it. So today I'll be cash stuffing $950. So let's get to it. Um, I have my calculator per usual because I'm bad at math. So it's 100, 200, 300, 400. Plus 50. And then 2, 4, 6, 8, 1. 2, 4, 6, 8, 2. 2, 4, 6, 8, 3. 2, 4, 6, 8, 4. 420. Plus 420, and then 10, 20, plus 20, and then 5, 10, 15, 25, 35, 45, plus 45, and then 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 9, 10, 11, 12, 13, 14, 15, plus 15, and that gives us 950. Beautiful. That feels good to count things correctly when it's been a minute. Um, so first things first, let's go to our bills binder over here. And I have my little cheat sheet right here. You can hear it, but hopefully you can't see it. Um, so let's go ahead and get started. So um, for rent, rent is getting $300. One, two, and three. Hopefully everyone has had a happy new year and a good Christmas and I know it's been a minute but I'm trying my best to balance school work and my personal life and my hobbies at the same time and I really want to kick off in the right way which is why I'm here. I've made it. <laughs> okay so cell phones not getting anything. Credit cards is not getting anything subscriptions which is my wax is gonna get $22 um for now I don't really want to explain um which what I'm trying to do I honestly feel like I'm kind of still floating in limbo I still have my finances together I'm I haven't accrued any debt but I haven't really paid off any either so I feel like I'm just restarting this year, and I hope you guys are okay with that. I feel like I've been saying that so many times, but this time for sure, new year, new me, and hopefully you guys are patient with me and see some progress too. Okay, so car, my car is getting 150 and then utilities is not getting anything. My internet is getting $40, 20 and 40 all of these are empty because I paid most of my bills in the beginning of the month. Savings is not getting anything. So that wraps up my bills binder. And so now we'll go to my priority binder. I, Like I said, I've been um, kind of keeping track of things outside of YouTube. So I've been doing good and there's some leftovers in my binders or in my envelopes. So it's been really nice. Um, I apologize. I don't really have that much space right now because my desk is very small. I did purchase a new one that I still have to assemble. So hopefully by my next video, it'll be a little bit better and my setup won't be as compact. Okay, so gas is getting, let me look at my cheat sheet, $30, 20 and 30 and I'm going to have to move stuff out of the way. Sorry, hot mess, as usual. Okay, so gas is getting $30, so that means there is $50, $70, $80 in gas. And then for groceries, groceries is getting $100, $2, $4, $6.80, and $100. And there's some leftovers in groceries as well. Um, I'm still mad about the $6 eggs, but you know, a girl needs protein. 2, 4, 6, 8, 1, 20 and 40, 140 for my groceries envelope. And then next is eating out, and eating out is $100. 2, 4, 6, 8, 
one. So that's 100. And then there is $40 in here. So there's two, four, six, eight, 120, and 140. 140 on um, in my eating out envelope and hopefully I'll be really good with not spending that <laughs> At least make my boyfriend spend it. You know what I mean? I'm just kidding. Okay, so entertainment Entertainment's getting $75. So that's two four sixty seventy and five and So there is also I believe $40 in here. I've been really good two four six eight a hundred 10.15. So $115 in my entertainment folder or envelope. And then next is personal. And personal gets 28, 25, 6, 7, and 8. So 25. Let's go ahead and count and see how much that it has. 2, 4, 45, 50, 1, 2, and 3. $53 from my personal envelope. Very nice. Um, next is health. Health is getting $5. And let's see how much we got in here. So there's 25 and 30. $30. Um, I'm trying to prioritize my health this um, year. I signed up for pole classes again. If you guys follow me on Instagram, Adventures of Isla, I'll kind of post my journey there. I'm not sure if you guys are into that, but if you guys also want to check out my shorts, like my shorts YouTube videos, I have some pole dancing videos in there when I first started like a year ago and I was such a newbie. But one of my videos hit like 80,000 views and that honestly kind of freaked me out and I wish it counts counted towards my like viewership on YouTube to get monetized but you know it's not so it is what it is I'm not here for the money anyways I'm here for the accountability so for self-care it gets five dollars so there's twenty five thirty dollars in self-care as well I count self-care as um, my health too but it's just two different Health is more like for medical bills and self-care is more like, oh, you know, mani pedis, um, eyebrow threading and all that other stuff that doesn't really have to deal with the medical side. So next is household and household is $5. And then so this in total has 25 and 30. Luckily, I don't see myself spending anything for the house or for at least my apartment. So... Hopefully that gets to build up a little bit. Education. Education is getting five dollars. So that is twenty thirty. Oh no, twenty five thirty. Thirty dollars. And I started my semester, my second semester of grad school. And I am taking public finance and ethics and public policy this semester. Only two, and I'm really hoping that. I do well. Um, last semester I got an A and a B, so I have a 3.5 GPA, and I really just want to keep it that way or bump it up, obviously. But I'm going to try to balance everything, and you know, that's my main priority, guys. When I disappear, it's because of school, and you know, I gotta put that first no matter what. But I am talking a little bit long, so I'm gonna go check my camera and make sure it doesn't shut off on me and then we'll hop right back to it so give me one second okay so we are good and education had thirty dollars so next is coffee and coffee is going to get five dollars luckily i got some coffee beans as a christmas present for my sister so we are good for maybe a week and a half so this can keep building up so there's 25 and 30 and the next is Apertoast and Digestifs, and that is also getting $5. I'm going to try to not drink as much. Um, I honestly feel like I don't really have time to turn up like that, so hopefully this will <laughs> save money too. So there's $25 and $30 for Apertoast and Digestifs. And then my savings, they're still, still going strong, y'all, and my boyfriend is giving me more and more money so I cannot complain um so our savings is getting $20 and I brought my calculator over here to kind of count to see how much we got so we have a thousand plus 
150, 200, 250, plus 250. Oh, that's not right. Let me do this again. 1,000 plus 150, 200, 250, plus 250, and then 2, 4, 6, 8, 1, 2, 4, 6. So 160. And then 10, 11, 12, 13. So I have 14 and 23 in my hour savings envelope. Um, 1100 is in the bank just in case I need to use it right away. But hopefully I wouldn't have to. Knock on wood. And so let's keep moving to miscellaneous. And miscellaneous is getting $5. And this is if I have any leftovers or you know if I need it for my other envelopes and so far I haven't had to and then lastly is my debt envelope and I decided not to fill anything for this paycheck because I will show you guys my savings challenges or I guess my only savings cha challenge that I've been working on um, I find it very overwhelming to have more than one, so I just decided to kind of tone it down and focus on one. Um, let's, let me show you first. Okay, so I will be completing this challenge um, right over here. This is a $300 challenge. Um, I believe my last paycheck in December I don't think I cash stuff, but I did, you know, I still did cash stuffing outside of the camera. And um, for this, the last one, I scratched off $60 and that gave me $250. And then for this cash stuffing, I scratched off $50. So that means I will be completing this challenge. And I do believe this is the cash that's left. 20, 40, oh, let me do this. 20, 40. 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 9, 10, 50 dollars, beautiful. Um, like I said, it's going to finish off the 300, but let's double check. 50, 2, 4, 6, 8, 150, 170, 190, 210, 230, 250, 270, 280. Okay, let's do this. 280 plus 5, 10. Uh, yeah, see, that doesn't make any sense. I'm not going to try to do the math. 50 plus 2, 4, 6, 8, 1, 2, 4, 6, 8, 2, 220. And then 10, 15, 20, plus 20. And then 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 9, and 10. So that's $300 saved up. This roughly took me about a month and a half slow and steady so this will go towards a portion of it it's going to go towards debt a portion is going to go towards my um bills envelope right now i haven't decided but for sure this will go towards my necessities which is uh paying off bills and paying off debt because that is my goal for this year i don't really have a an amount that i'm thinking of but I'm, I'm paying that I'm paying it down that's it period um, I will share with you guys either on Instagram or my next YouTube video to kind of let you guys know where I decided to put the money but for now let's go ahead and talk about what my goals are for savings challenges for this year okay so I have one left right here from Rencap budgets though I do believe she did change her YouTube name so if someone knows please just let me know down below um, but she gave me this because I want to give away and this was a freebie and I was I'm pretty sure this is a hundred dollars so I'll be working on that this month and then on top of that I am going to do a weight loss challenge and if you guys are unfamiliar I do have an Etsy and this is a savings tracker for um, a week by week basis of tracking my weight, the um, my measurements for my chest, waist, hips, arms, thighs, and um, what is this last one? <laughs> well, I don't remember. Oh, actually, no, this last one tells me how much I need to add because for each change or for each inch loss and each pound lost, I will be. Um, giving myself a dollar so this last column will kind of basically total everything up so 
It's really nice. Um, it's been a minute since I looked at this, and I, I don't know. I've been busy, and my brain just decides to remember certain things, and this is not it. <laughs> but um, I'm starting this challenge um, next week. Or maybe I'll measure myself sometime this week and then, um, you know, measure myself again to see the changes. But this is what I will be working on. And then I am also going to work on the self-care challenge just because this was from last year. I didn't finish it because I needed the money to have $1,000 saved. I decided to take out everything from my envelopes and make sure that I had 1K saved. So that's that, but I will be erasing this and then this will give me $500 for a self-care challenge. And hopefully by that time that I have saved enough, I've lost weight, so I'm ready to like treat myself by the time I have $500 saved. So I'm hoping you guys keep me accountable and if there's anything you guys want me to keep you accountable with, please let me know, reach out. Um, but that's basically the end of this video. Thanks for letting me ramble at the end and hopefully you guys ha aren't like sick of me disappearing and reappearing and all that stuff. But you know, I love you guys and it's always really fun to come and hang out with you and hopefully you guys had fun too. Um, but that is it for today's video. Make sure you like, comment, and subscribe and please feel free to contact me on YouTube or on Instagram. I will be happy to talk to you. Um, but for now, take care, have a great day, night, wherever you are, and I'll see you next time. Bye.